Jennifer and welcome back to my channel, the CRPS Network. Today I'm going to be talking about some a research study that is being done um, in Liverpool and some recent discoveries that they made during this research project, which will be continuing, um, but it's uh, shedding a light on some new form of CRPS treatments or strengthening the arguments for some CRPS treatments in one drug in particular. So anyways, some researchers at Liverpool's uh, Pain Research Institute, uh, and this is a study led by Andrea Gobel. They discovered that while researching antibodies in CRPS patients, that there's a antibody called the, the IL-1 um, antibody, and this induces systemic body response aimed at eliminating microorganisms from the body and responsible for repairing tissue damage. Um, an increasing number of conditions are being found where this has been identified at the IL-1 that the production is inappropriate with these people and with these conditions and in some cases even known to be the cause of the condition in itself. So they were really kind of focusing in on these antibiotics and to take a look at them a little more. Um, what they did was they transferred these antibodies from a um, long-standing CRPS patient and put them into um, some mice and this caused a CRPS-like condition in the mice. Um, the more important element of this transferred CRPS was that the glial cell activation. And um, if you are not sure what glial cells are, I'll leave a link up here to, if you want to see a video that goes a little bit more into depth of what glial cells are. Anyways, uh, a team discovered by blocking the IL-1 with a drug named Anaconera um, actually helped to prevent and reverse all of the changes in the animals. This is huge. So um, Dr. Andrea Gobel has said that patients with CRPS <clears throat> should respond to respond excuse me, to immune treatments with a reduction of at least some of their disease features. So um, in this case, they were using this particular drug, but with a statement, he is really kind of saying, you know, um, immune treatments in general may be beneficial to people with a CRPS. Um, I also did a, a video recently where I discussed IVIG injections. Again, I'll leave a link up here. And um, this is for people that may have a low immune function, which a lot of people with CRPS do have immune function component, or at least um, researchers believe that there's a big component of the immune function that's involved with the CRPS condition. Anyways, um, since this discovery, and this has just been a few months, um, about mid-2019, this article came out, and they are applying for funds to further this study in um, humans. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that um, these researchers are onto something and may end up be able to find some sort of groundbreaking treatment or cure. So anyways, I love to hear news like this that always keeps me hopeful. And this is why with in the CRPS community, we always have to stay hopeful that they're finding new things all the time. And you never know when they're going to come out with something that
that's going to end up changing your life. So anyways, that's it for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you aren't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe to be notified and ring the bell to be notified of when I make my next video. All right, that's it for today. Take care. Bye-bye.